Good morning, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how to prep our plates, our little foam plates that we're going to be using um, for printing our Andy Warhol cats. You should have practiced drawing your cats already so you're ready to go on the foam plate. Today I'm going to be using Sharpies so that you can better see this on the paper. It's difficult to see things on here sometimes with the shadows and the lighting. Me doing it with Sharpies is going to allow you to see where I'm drawing. You, however, will be working with a dull pencil and a sharp pencil. So dull pencil is going to get you a thicker line and a sharp pencil is going to get you a thinner line. So I always like to start out by very gently with that pencil sketching the idea that I had for my cat on the foam. That way I can change things a little bit if I need to. But I don't expect at this point to have to change things very much because I've been practicing my cat. So again, gently and I want to use up as much space as possible on my canvas or my foam sheet so that I get all the details in there that I'm looking to get. I picked a cat who was looking sideways. And if you're never sure what kind of cat that you want to draw, if you just Google how to draw a cat on the internet, it will come up with all types of cat tutorials or principal worksheets that will let you see exactly how to draw a cat. Now I'm still drawing gently but it's already starting to put a little bit of an indentation in the foam. Sometimes you can even hear it if you listen really close. Now the areas that I want thin are going to be things like the whiskers. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to start pushing down into that foam to make sure that it's leaving an indentation in there. And you'll notice I'm pulling away, leaving a point that way from me. I can't push. If you push in a foam, it's just going to go eh, 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 and make a whole bunch of little jumbled, messy areas. So you always want to make sure that you're pulling. So like, I can't see where I'm going this way, so I'm going to turn this so that I can make sure I'm pulling the right direction. Like that. And then the eyes are another place I probably want a thinner line to be. Again, adjusting my grip to make sure that I get that in there. Another small place is going to be the nose and the mouth. Just like that. And everything else I think I'm going to want a little thicker. Let's see, I'll save that marker for later. Open up my other Sharpie. All right, that Sharpie wasn't working, so I'm going to go ahead and use that dull pencil that I was talking about. This one's actually a little too sharp. So I'm going to flatten it out a little bit. You can see that's a flattened out pencil. Now I'm going to trace those lines that I want thicker around my cat. Sometimes you can just do one smooth pass. Sometimes you might want to go back over it again. And you'll be able to feel this and see this with your fingers. It's hard to see on the screen. But you can see there's an indentation that's there where the foam has been smooshed down and it will stay down. It's not going to pop back up like memory foam. This is just regular styrofoam. And then I want his eyes to be nice and thick. And you have to remember right now when we print this, it's going to be a negative, which means when I roll the ink on here and push it down on paper, the only places that are going to stay white, like the paper that I print it onto, are the places where I've dented it or pushed it in. If I want the cat to be a color, then I have to go through and I have to put an indentation all behind this part of the plate to cover that up. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll let you choose if you just want it to be a line, kind of like the other cats that might I have had to do for examples for class, or if you want it to be a complete uh, background removal. There. So that would be how you would leave it if you just want it to be a line drawing when you print it. I'm going to take my background out of here, which means I'm going to go through with my fat one, and I'm going to push all of this part of the foam down. And it is going to take a while. I could even use the back part of here to start smooshing my foam down if I wanted to. Since it's going to take a while, I'm going to speed this part of the film up.
Now I have to be careful in between these whiskers because if I just do it all flat, I'm going to leave the whiskers. So I need to make sure that I leave a little edge along each whisker that's still sticking up. Like for example here, I'm gonna leave this little space along that whisker. And then same thing with this whisker here. So I have to stop where I'm removing the background along that edge. So now my plate is ready for me to start the inking and stamping process. I have all of this part pushed down as much as I can, and then I have all of this part nicely indented where I want it to be.